what's up guys this is PC Pro Gamer and this is a video on how to port forward any port you want now you first need to know the port in and out first you need those and second you'll need to go to your CMD type in IP config just like this I'm not doing it right now cuz I don't like to blur things out, it's quite annoying and I don't want you guys to see my IP. If none of those work, make sure you try your default gateway or your IP address. L type in home portal and then slash just like this. Right here. And it should bring you to your thing. I have ATNT Uverse. For some reason some ports don't work, some ports do work. Second of all, you want to click on Customize firewall. I've preloaded these because AT&T Universe's website is pretty gay and it takes 80 years. Now you're going to look for your computer. I'm going to click on my computer. It's going to take 80 years. I didn't preload this one. I don't know why. Alright, once this is done, what you're going to do is make sure this is on allow individual applications, not maximum. Okay, once you're there, you're going to come over here uh, sometimes it'll be in here what you want to port right now my ports are actually in there because I've edited them you see these are the ports I have running right now for some reason Arma doesn't work everything else does uh, what you're going to want to do is hit add new user defined application once you do that it's gonna take 75 years to load or just like like however yours is okay you mine's AT&T Uverse that's why it's like this you're gonna most likely you're gonna have TCP UDP you're gonna need those two both if you have both that's awesome but we don't so now we're gonna name it Minecraft let's say just put that or if you're playing vaults anything that has to do with Minecraft it'll be this port just like this Okay, what you're gonna do is hit add to list. It's gonna already have successfully added it and it's gonna show right here. I'm not trying to add like 75 ports to my thing right now. Once you do that, you're gonna go back and it's gonna show Minecraft right here. Then you're gonna click on UDP, you're gonna click it again. Now, sometimes it's going to ask you for a password and the password will be located on top of your AT&T Uverse power supply box, which is not the box that your TV comes out like your TV connects to it's like a box it should be in your basement it's pretty big it's like a square box and it says AT&T on it and it's white and on it, it should have the security code you could change it up later now once you have that done you're gonna go all the way back to your firewall I'm gonna go over here make sure it's a successful down here and everything now we're gonna wait 10 years Okay, make sure your computer is still chosen. Make sure everything is still checked after your computer is chosen. Now, once we're here, let's say we're going to add, let's say we added a StarCraft server. We That was never there, pretend, and it's there. Now you're just going to click on it and hit add. Okay, once you hit add, it's going to be there, and then you're going to click save, make sure that's checked. And once it's there, you could check it by going to um, status, which I'll check real quick. And make sure no IPs are shown, which they are, so I'm just going to show you half of it. So give me a moment. All right. There. Right past this is shown my IP, which you could see the beginning. No one cares about the beginning. All right. Um, so you can see all my servers, TCP, UDP, all that. So that's about it, basically. Now it's port forward to see if your port is actually open. You go like this. Can. This is going to be very difficult to remember. Can you see me? <laughs> Dot org. Come over here. Two five five six five. It's probably going to say no because my server is not running. If it's not running, by the way, make sure your server is running because it's not going to work. See, it's going to say here. Usually it says success. I could see your thing right here. You 
could see my IP right now, but it's gonna be blocked. Now, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, for the port forwarding part, this part you could stop watching if you're done with the port forwarding. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to use Evolve or Hamachi. Hamachi is quite simple. You just open it up. You make a channel. Okay, and you get your you put a password. You get your friends to join it. Now once they join it, they come from right here and then hit copy IPv4 and you enter the IP somewhere. Let's say this is the game. You enter it there and that's IP in Minecraft basically. For Gary's mod you basically just join them through LAN. Anything that has a LAN option, try it, but Minecraft never works with LAN. So that's how you do this. Let's exit this. Okay. Evolve is my favorite. I don't like Hamachi because it never works sometimes. So evolve, we wait. Alright, this should just be like this, just like this. You could X this part out, no one cares about this part. Now you just need this part. What you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here. Where is that? You're gonna come here. You're gonna um, do create party. And that's it. You could customize your party and everything. But I have my own party. Which is the Gary's mod thing. You just click on it once and it will join it. Actually, twice. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. You got you get in here. Your IP is this static IP, and it says copy static IP. Yeah. So you um, basically that's the IP. Um, that's how you join exactly everything, just like Hamachi. That's about it. Okay, I could post the links for on everything in the description. I recommend you do port forwarding if it works for you, but I like that Hamachi if you don't feel like port forwarding some games. And that's probably only for your friends. Unless you have like paid Hamachi, which has like a couple hundred people or 50 people like uh, in a group. Now, thanks for watching. Subscribe, rate, and comment. Sorry, this was a long video. Um, like, so your friends could see. And recommend me, favorite me. See you guys. There's more where this came from.